Hey everybody, and thank you for joining me for Creating Your Self-Love Lifestyle. I'm Marcy Newman, your host, known as the Heart Shift Coach. And as you know, self-love is the focus of everything that I teach and everything that I put my own focus on in my own life. And so, of course, it's exactly what I want to speak with you today and share with you a question that someone asked me the other day because, well, it really had me thinking for a moment, and um, I think it's actually quite profound to tell you the truth. So the question that I was asked was, uh, what did I think was the number one reason that people have such a difficulty in creating a self-love lifestyle. And as I said, I, I thought about it for a moment, but it didn't take me long before what was really in the forefront of my mind was the word trust. And so I want to talk about that for a moment because um, the more that I've been sitting with this, I'm recognizing just how the two of them are so intricately connected. And the truth of the matter is, from my perspective, without trusting yourself, you will not make self-love choices. Here's what's going to happen. And perhaps you even can relate to this as I'm sharing this with you. Without a degree of trusting of yourself, you will always be second-guessing every choice that you make. What this does is it creates this rubber band effect where you stretch yourself out, you know, going towards self-love, and immediately you snap back again. And then maybe you stretch out again, reach for something that is more um, loving of yourself, bam, you snap right back again. And you will do this over and over and over again if you don't have the energy of trust that is a platform or a foundation for your decision making. Now, I know how challenging this is because for so many of us, uh, particularly when you're just starting out on your um, self-love journey, you may not have had enough experiences where you've sort of anchored into the message that uh, you can trust yourself, that this is going to work out for you. And so if you don't have that, if you haven't had that, it can be very scary. Totally get it. But this is where trust will actually expand the energy of trust to provide that foundation for you. You see, this is one place where having a degree of trust where it's enough that you will give yourself a chance will support you in experiencing what will be for your highest good. Now, as I know, I, as I said, I know how challenging this is, how scary it can be. But there's also something that you may have heard me say a number of times before, and that is this. I also look at trust as a temporary necessity. And the reason for that is, is that once you step over that threshold, having trusted the universe is just going to lay itself at your feet and you will see all of these opportunities that will rise up before you, giving you endless possibilities for creating a brand new experience, a brand new life for yourself. And so there is this period of time where you will need to just trust and it's going to feel like you're trusting blindly, like you can't see anything in front of you. And I think sometimes that our higher self actually sort of pushes us to that place of blind trust because, well, for many of us, we get distracted so easily 
and are so programmed into looking at all the reasons why we should be fearful, all the reasons why we shouldn't make that change, all the reasons why we shouldn't follow our heart. And that's because, as you know, and you've heard me say this before, the ego actually controls 97% of your thoughts. And its worst nightmare is that you remember who you are that you are this powerful creator, this being of creative life force, and that creating change is actually what you do. It's kind of like saying um, that uh, you don't believe that love's purpose is to love. Your purpose as creative life force energy is to create. And so there are certain aspects of this you must just trust. And that's what I'm talking about. Bringing yourself to this place where you are reminding yourself constantly, oh, that's right. I am the creative force of the entire universe. And I'm here to create because I'm at the top of that game. I am the, T-H-E with a capital T, creative force. I am here to create. And so this trust that I speak of is the one, as I said, I know it might feel initially like you are trusting blindly. And I know that that's uncomfortable. But I also know that the rewards of that are something that you perhaps have never experienced before. And that the moment that you step over that threshold, you literally will grow wings. You will feel like you are free, like you have cut whatever has been tethering you to the ground. And you will feel the exhilaration of having just followed your heart. If you've been following me for a while, you've probably heard me say this as well. And if you and I are just getting acquainted with each other, there is a firm belief within me uh, based on you know, what my mentor had shared with me so many years ago. And that is that you have to be willing to risk it all to have it all. I can tell you unequivocally that that is absolutely true. Every time that I have mustered up that courage to risk it all, I have had the incredible, miraculous opportunity to experience the universe's response to that. And it is of absolute alignment with abundance of every kind. My life is so abundant. And that comes from that willingness, the willingness to risk it all to have it all, the willingness to simply follow my heart. And that's what self-love is all about. There are so many self-love decisions that you will need to make, these choices that are so uncomfortable because they're out of the realm where you've ever been before. That's what self-love is all about. It takes you out of your comfort zone 100% of the time. So it's important that you know that is exactly what's going to happen. But each and every time that you allow yourself to experience that, you will build that new level of confidence within yourself, all because you trusted yourself enough to give it a go. Now, <clears throat> I spoke earlier about <clears throat> excuse me, how your higher self, <clears throat> take a quick drink, how your higher self <clears throat> may actually push you to that edge if you have not been 
stepping forward into these opportunities that it has set up for you. We, of course, don't want to get to that point. We want to get to the point, and this takes practice, okay? We want to get to the point where when we see this opportunity to expand and to grow and to step out of the comforts of the small self and into the wonder, the power of <clears throat> the higher self, the grander version, as we do that, we experience, perhaps for the first time, the truth of our being. We experience the true self. Capital S, divine being, here on a very sacred mission to create from this energy of love, that has created all things, including you. And it isn't just taking you along for the ride. It has said to you, follow your heart, follow your heart, follow your heart, and create from that energy that you set free. This is power, pure power, when we step into ourselves. And it's what I'm inviting you to do with me now. Visualize yourself stepping over that threshold that fear has been preventing you from doing before. Even if you have to close your eyes, step over and experience the freedom of the choice that is yours that you didn't even know existed. So with that, I'm going to leave you all of this to really sort of let it marinate within you. And um, of course, I'll leave you with an affirmation. And that affirmation today is, I am the energy of love that my creator has trusted to create with the power of love. Woo. I am the trusted partner of God itself. I am hardwired to do this. There is nothing outside of me. I am the trusted partner of the God within me. It's a big one. Take it in and just bite-sized pieces if you need to. But everything that I've shared with you here is complete truth. That's who you are. This magnificent being of light. What a privilege it is to share this time in this space with you. Please, if this has resonated with you, leave your comments below. Um, like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed as of yet. And please share. Share HeartShift TV. The playlist is filled with all of these robust videos that I've created to support you along your journey. And as it supports you, I know, I'm confident that they will support others as well. And so please share them. And I thank you for that. I thank you for your encouragement and for your belief in me and my mission, the work that I have come here to, to do, and of course, who I have come here to be. So again, please leave your comments, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you back here next week. So much love to you. Bye-bye now and so many blessings.